Hi guys, it's Miss V, and today I've got an unboxing video to show you. It's been a long time since I've recorded something. Without further ado, let's unbox it and see how it works. I have already had the pleasure of unboxing the Scrabble. I love to play Scrabble. So I've, I've got two games here that I'm going to unbox for you today. One is Jenga. And it's the world's smallest Jenga, and it's actually playable. It says, yes, actually works. And the second one that I'm going to unbox for you today is the Pictionary. As many of you know, there's a fad of mini things going around now, like mini brand, there are like mini toys and stuff. So this is Scrabble. In the box, like the Pictionary, it comes already in its package. So if you open it, it's got this latch. Six and a half hours later. 20 minutes later. Here. It just broke my nail. Let me show you the Scrabble that I unboxed yesterday. Uh, there's a latch and then you open it. And then inside it's got this super tiny Scrabble game board and it's supposed to, like it's got some thickness because it's got magnets. Here's the back side and then here's like a little Keychain clip doesn't come with a keychain though, and then it's got a drawer And if you empty the contents out from the drawer, they're actually letters and you can magnetically attach To the game board so it's actually brand new, never played it before. Like the words are super tiny, but it does work. So let's go to drawer. So let's put things back in the drawer. And then we're gonna unbox the rest of them. Ready? That's Scrabble. I'm just gonna leave this on the side. So the next one we're gonna unbox is Jenga. It says it comes with 39 game pieces and a storage case. So here's the packaging. Here's the back side. And then it's got a QR code. Back. Without further ado, let's open it. So I've got my pair of scissors here. Let's do it. I'm guessing this is the little case that it comes with. It's like sealed. It's got a latch here. Let's shake it. Let's see what it's got. It's got Jenga, and it's the world's smallest Jenga. It's got a little. <laughs> so cute! And each of these Jenga block, it's got Jenga on it. It's so tiny. It's off. But yeah, I'm gonna stack it. It actually feels very nice. It feels plasticky, but it's got ridges on it. And that's Jenga. So here, it's the pile. Play, it says that you have to use some sort of toothpick. I'm using a pencil here. Let's give it a try. Ah, oh, it works. <laughs> so cute. Let's try another one. Holding loose. Ta -da! And that's Jenga. Swirl smallest Jenga. So tiny. Now for the third unboxing, we have the 
Pictionary. It comes with a case, a game board, a timer, hourglass. It's got a paper pad, two pencils, one dice, four game tokens, and 25 category cards. And it's also the world's smallest. Pictionary. Yes, it actually works. So let's give it an open and see what comes inside. Let me grab my scissors. Here's the game box. Oh, there's something inside. Here's a pencil. Yeah, it's so tiny. Here's the game pad. I mean, the paper pad. Oh. Um, I think this is just a cardboard that shows you what the each game card looks like. So it's got five colors. Ah, Pictionary. Okay, let's see what's inside the box. The game box. Oh, this game box isn't as good as the other one. It's not flush. Like compared to the Scrabble one. The Scrabble one was pretty good. And it's very heavy. This one is lighter. Okay, let's open it and see. I hate these. I break my nails. Oh. <gasps> okay. Oh, this is plastic. I thought it was going to be a paper card. Okay. No, it's plastic. And um, it's got a game board. So you're supposed to use the token start where it says P. And then you're supposed to go around the game board, rolling the dice, and whoever gets to the last place first wins. I actually don't know how to play. But I don't know how it's gonna live that. And then what else comes in the box? Let's see. Got an hourglass. Um, these game tokens. Oh, the other pencil. Little tiny game cards. So precious. So cute. Giant. And then it's got a die. What else? And then it comes in four with four tokens. I've got the blue one sitting on the board. And the little die, which is actually smaller than the game piece. Oh, would you look at that? So cute. So, oh, this is from the Jenga. Which one do I think would be the easiest to play? I think the easiest to play would be Pictionary because you could actually see you can actually see the words pretty well. And it's double-sided! On one side it says giant, dessert, peep, clothesline, cufflink. And on the other side we've got hall, screwdriver, angle, slack, volcano. Oh, that is so cool. So there are actually 50 question words. Interesting. And then here's the game board, and then you're supposed to put your pieces on the game board. Does it fit on the square? It fits on the square. Should have chosen a better color. Yellow. It fits on the square. But the problem is, it doesn't lie flat. <laughs> so, it's gonna fall off the board. We'll see what we have to do about that. Hmm. 
Interesting. Well, that's it, guys. That's my unboxing of these three games, Pictionary, Jenga, and Scrabble. Why don't you leave a comment below and tell me which one you like, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye, guys!